me tell you about our project on reverse engineering of bacteria for fuel. First of all, we call it the Electrofuels Project. It may or may not work, and it derives from an aspiration by the DOE to think about, one, biofuels, and two, deriving biofuels from organisms other than the standard ones. There are many kinds of bacteria in the world, often called extremophiles, which live deep in the ocean, in vents, or in soil. In genetically modifying these organisms, we would like to program them to do certain functions. The common feature of these bacteria is that they are somehow capable of moving electrons through them. The organism sort of acting like a battery or a little production factory into which you would pump electricity and then it would pump fuel out. There's some hidden advantages to biofuels in that you can make designer biofuels, whereas if you get it out of the ground, you get what you get. You can process it, which is very costly, but if you could make a designer biofuel, for example, you could make the best jet fuel in the world. So we're sort of taking from different parts of nature and synthesizing them together into one organism. And to do that in a predictable way and to do it in a faster way and in a cheaper way because I believe that biology is the silicon of this century. It gets us away from a petroleum-based economy. Biology is essentially, if you want to talk about biomimicry, biology is the best chemist out there.